Ladies and gentlemen, as we inch closer to 500,000 subscribers, we are going to get retaliation from enemy forces. As you know, we are in a friendly competition with YouTube creators right now, and we are far too outnumbered. So before this video starts, all I ask is one thing, is that you guys subscribe, because we are way too outnumbered right now. And the only way we win this fight is if we pass them in subscribers. But with all that being said, enjoy the video. All of that really resonated with me. I started to feel a little emotional about it. May I interrupt just one minute? We have two young men, John and Joe Martin. We need a face, John. Sorry, my wire kept coming out of my computer. I had to fix uh, it. Could, could we do ladies first? Yeah, that's fine Joe, by me, fine I, by I me. Did, I'm sorry, I didn't know you wanted to read. So I would like to hear from Asidra next. Okay, this is a personal essay, so it's not fiction. Okay, here we go. I lost my virginity to a horse. I was 11 years old. Riding for longer stretches was no consolation because with each bouncing step, I hit my crotch with a bone protruding on the horse's loin. Oh. One day, I went to the bathroom back at home and I saw blood in my pants. I had been longing for this day. Getting my pants would make my breasts fill up and my mother would finally get me a bra. 2,000 years later. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty good. I didn't know we were going to have these young men here. But I, I, I know, I'm sorry for the boys. That was great. That was great. <laughs> yeah. You have ideas for the title, I'm all ears. Horsing around in France. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And Joe, Joe, you would like to read? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Right. Tell us about Joe. It's short. It's a short poem. I'm, okay. I'm pretty new to everything. Okay. All right. Here we go. I travel far and wide. I find a place to hide. Just f the bitch of my mama Cadillac. Now I got five kids. Those lines were mid, but that's okay. Having too many kids. Now I'm gay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Can you, can you read it again? Was, so? yeah, read it again. I travel far and wide. I find a place to hide. Just f the bitch in my mama Cadillac. Now I got five kids. Those lines were mid, but that's okay. Having too many kids. Now I'm gay. <laughs> I don't blame her. There was a line there, I think is the third line, Joe, that I couldn't understand what you said. Me too. What, oh, what you... just f the bitch in my mama Cadillac? Just f, f the bitch, is that what he says? In my mama's Cadillac. But this is the voice of a guy, right? That's what I'll leave up to the audience to decide. Uh, oh, he leaves yeah, it ambiguous. I heard it towards the towards guy. I thought that your poem did had some really nice poetic devices used. There was some nice rhyming, some nice alliteration, and you read it so nicely. Really, really cool. Uh, am I good to go, or is there a line? There is no line. There, there is no expectation. Oh my God. Okay. Go for it. It's funny that Joe's poem was kind of on the sexual side of things. I will kind of be like that, kind of not, but here we go. Roses are red, lemons are sour. Open your <laughs> and give me an hour. Kissing is a habit, f***ing is a game. Guys get all the pleasure, girls get all the pain. <laughs> Gosh, I'm sorry, guys. Three days in the hospital, <laughs> a baby without a pain. <laughs> oh, boy. The baby is a bastard. The mother is a <laughs> This would have never happened if the rubber had it tore. Sex is like math. You subtract the clothes. <laughs> Oh Divide God. your legs and pray to God you don't multiply. Roses are red, grass is green. Open your legs and I'll fill you with. <laughs> That's it. Okay. No, no, no comments. Nothing surprises us. No. I'm kind of surprised. You two, you two know each other? No. I think getting to know each other pretty well. John, I do like a little bit of the playfulness that you put in with the rhythm and rhyme for the structure of your poem. It made it fun. You know, kind of felt like a little cadence going on. I really enjoyed that. And, and you just found us spontaneously out of nowhere.
And I invite you at this time to take a journey along the path. And as you get deeper into this path, you notice that there's shrubs all around you now. And the flowers are getting thinner. Shut the f up, Grandma! I'm in a zoo! Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought I was muted. I'm sorry guys, my grandma wouldn't shut the f up. She has a sewing machine upstairs. It's just rattling. I'll keep it quiet for now, I'm sorry. I don't even think he knows like how to continue this. Nope. Dude, that was brutal. <laughs> It's really neat. I mean, you buy into the whole thing. The um, it looks like Joe. Are you on the line? Hi. How are you? Good. Are you here for the wine and wonder? Mm -hmm. So, what's your background, Joe? Um. No. Yesterday, I walked my grandma's fish at the funeral, but after Tuesday, I went backwards to the grocery store, and then here I am. Oh, your grandmother passed away? No, I was walking my grandma's fish, went backwards to the oh. grocery store at the funeral on Tuesday, the day before yesterday. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. welcome. It looks like... John is here too. Oh, I'm sorry. My mic was muted. That's okay. How are you, John? Good. How are you? Good. So, Joe, I heard your uh, story. That's really sad. No, well, they went to Saturn because Jupiter was full of mutant beef coons. The beef coons were from Mars with bubbly bubbles and the ancient gang that was buried in the Camelot lived. So, <laughs> is this a gang, Joe? What? Well, wait a minute. You were talking about Jupiter, Mars? Yeah, I'm, the planets. I'm, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just. A little confused. I hadn't heard of any of this before. Hmm. My, my apologies. Okay. So what are you guys doing for health? Yeah, I mean, the gorilla stole the Honda's trail from the 70s. Tony Soprino lead the gangsters from Italy. That's not very healthy. No. Well, we were actually just, Patty and I were just wrapping up. So, Patty, if you want to go next. No, I'm all done too. I'm saying goodnight.